So last look at the board here, the losers, the winners, potential wins. These are all my successes and failures. This is not an overnight process. Although I am young, 27, I've been in my journey for nine years, approaching 10 years. Many of you are 40, 50, 55, almost 60 years old, but you've never taken the time to start that journey as either an entrepreneur, a business owner, either because you never was taught, it just it never came across, you never had the time for it, whatever excuses, whatever reasons you come up with, whatever obstacles, that's in the past, you are now starting your journey. So if you're 50 years old, even though you're double my age, let's say, you're 50 years old, but you just started your journey in entrepreneurship or starting a business at age 48, right? So you're two years in, let's say, but you haven't made any money yet. Give it time. Don't give up because this is a process. Understand from 2014, in my journey from 2014 all the way to 2018, I did not make a lot of money right? I had so many failures. I mean, let's count them out, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got eight failures, one, two, three, four, five wins. So I have more losses than I do wins, but, but these wins overcompensate for all the losses, right? Massive, massive gains. So understand you might have 10 losses before you have one win. The key is to not quit. That's like the major key. So again, going back to my example, let's say you're a single mom, single dad, 50 years old, you're two years into your journey, you 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 started a business, it, it flopped, you invested in crypto, it flopped, you invested in stocks, that flopped, you you looked at this YouTuber, that, that YouTuber got exposed, he came out to, or she came out to be a fraud, and you lost money. And so like, you're going through your season of say, loss but you're learning, you're growing, you're gaining, you're gaining experience. So now you're two years in, it might take another two, it might take another three, it might take another four years before you get that first win. The key is to not quit. And don't let your age assume that, you, you, that you're supposed to be at a, at a certain rank or a certain understanding or position. No, you're actually two years old, right? I'm nine years old in my journey. Even though I'm 27, right? 27, but I'm only nine years into my journey. You might be 50 years old, but only five years into your journey. Buddy, you're only five years old when it comes to entrepreneurship. You're only three years old. So you're a toddler. You're literally a toddler. I am getting out of toddler, becoming a young teen soon, right? So I'm nine years old, approaching 10 years. I'm uh, What's that? Adolescent? What, what, what is that period? Before teen, but after toddler? What do they call you? I don't know. So whatever that period it is, that's how you need to like look at it. We're like, wait a minute. No, I'm a baby at this. It's okay if I'm not making seven, eight, nine, 12 figures like these gurus say I should be. Don't, don't, don't get discouraged by other people's speed and efficiency and success. Give yourself that grace, that patience, be able to have the success that you want to have in this life. And if you're a believer, you're a man, woman of God, you best be relying on the Father as your source and not these other resources. Rely on source to obtain resources from the source, align his will with your will, align your will with his will, operate with him in the presence with him, operate in your business with him, my goodness, you just might speed up the process. But if you're relying on Joe Schmo over here and Tom over here, Harry over here, Susan over here, Matthew over you, you know, you're relying on all these other people. You're getting all this wisdom, all this knowledge and experience from resources instead of starting with source first, then proceeding. Now, talking to my audience who is not a believer, not a man or woman of God. It's much easier for you. It's a matter of logic, understanding what are you good at? What are your skills, gifts, and talents? Let's identify those very quickly. So super easy, right? Then from there, you you take your skills, gifts, and talents, and we go in, out into the marketplace, and we look for companies, we look for entrepreneurs, we look for leaders that can use your skills, gifts, and talents, pay you abundantly for that. Now it's just a matter of personally managing your finances, spending less than what you make, saving, investing, and, and helping out here and there, giving. That's a universal reward of giving. It's a universal like fact. If you give, you receive. Like that, There's some principles behind that that you can adopt and incorporate. So we can keep it just straight logic. 
We don't got to go into the whole philosophy and emotions and spiritual. We don't got to do none of that. That's just me talking to my people, my believers, because they often get mixed up in that area and they don't know the logic part. Whereas for my non-believers, we can just have a logical conversation here. And then maybe down the line, maybe there's room for some emotional, spiritual topics. We can open up on some financial traumas you went through when you were six and mom said this and that said that. And this is why you don't believe because this happened, you know, or you've read all the facts. And this is why I don't believe because the universe and the cosmos and this and that. Happy to have those conversations. But if we're looking at how do we create success in your business, how do we you know, find those winners, we got to give it time. We have to go through the process, go through the obstacles, take as much as we can. Let's learn, adapt, be willing to course correct, be willing to adapt, right? And analyze the opportunities so that we don't keep repeating mistakes, right? Go from there. So that's all. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. Have a wonderful day. God bless. And we'll be talking soon.